Now I believe the new Concorde ships have definitely been well received. Uh, I personally fly the Pacifier a lot nowadays, although uh, I now have two Asteros that I don't know what I'll do with them. I mean one Aster will be the combat explorer that will be quite active today. The other Astro is well was a exploration ship that I didn't use that often. But yeah, uh, the Pacifier will definitely be very interesting. I have a couple of ideas with it that I'm currently uh, let's say let's say making a video on that. Uh, that little ship actually has much better much better exploration stats than the Astro. So uh, hopefully that extra bonus will help, but you know, uh, exploration is for a different video. Today we will be blowing up some ships, as usual, and I think it will be uh, quite a funny little video today. I uh, had some pretty hilarious uh, encounters and really odd encounters to be, to be honest. So. Let's go to the first target. I'm flying the Astro. I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's a weird Astro. I'm flying the larger Astro, the Stratus. Now, my bombard implant uh, will very soon be in the need of uh, some extra fuel. The bombard eats fuel like there is no tomorrow, and it's very expensive to be used, but I have this thing nearly maxed out so might as well use it okay there was an astro well speaking of the devil an astro on the gate and a tornado and where did the astro go i have Warp no drive idea active. well uh, we will be going after the tornado first and then and then we will see if there is more stuff in the in space I expect the tornado to be okay not, not what I expected well I mean the tornado is a sniper but they're moving and let me see okay are they even shooting at that frigate well I guess we will find that out <laughs> very very soon I would say they might have an afterburner although not entirely sure about that so for now there is no good warping as we all can see there is no good warping maybe the planet maybe nah that's not gonna work uh, let's well, I mean, what options do I have? Double scan and then basically do a double warp to the tornado. I can attempt to intercept by... Actually, you know what? I have an idea. The tornado is moving in a, in the proximal position towards that anomaly. So, technically, if I warp and I start approaching the Torino from the anomaly, it means that Enemy ships the Tornado will uh, approach me as well, and our collective speed will be about 500 meters per second, which means I would be able to get close to them fairly quickly quickly okay well uh, let's see intercepting I mean it's probably going to take too long if I go I can see the direction that they're moving at but they are moving around not a exact orbit okay so the intercept that I imagined 
is not going to work. So pretty much two out of about five options are not going to work, so I'll just attempt uh, some of the remaining uh, three options. Now initially I wanted to go to the anomaly, but I, I think the planet might actually be closer, so let's attempt and let's see if this will work. Uh, this is why I love to fly the Stratus. Usually when I have a target for the Stratus, you know, it's not exactly... Uh, usually, I mean, usually it is <laughs> warp in the cloak and just yeet. <laughs> Sometimes when you have a target like this tornado, you have to devise a strategy, you have to find a plan. And that's why I love to use this ship. It's simply a bit more exciting to to catch ships, especially since you, n you have a near 100% guarantee to catch whatever you are tackling. Okay, 58 kilometers, but... Oh, well, Tornado seems to be in trouble. Oh, I think I know what's about to happen to this Tornado. Yeah, they haven't been careful. This is why you always focus on the fastest and on the smaller ships. Because if you're a sniper and if something small gets close to you, you will be in trouble. And this is pretty much what I was talking about. The Tornado is using the large artillery cannons and they don't seem to have webs to slow down the, the destroyer which is orbiting. And yeah, I can just slowly approach as you can see, we are rapidly approaching because the anomaly ship, the storyline mission ship, has tackled the tornado and, well, kind of, you know, kind of killed the fun for me. <laughs> I did not need any external help from the pirate ships here. I could do this myself. But oh well, let's just. You go and launch the drones. Yeah, this no tank on this tornado as expected. Oh well, that was kinda funny. I I say kinda funny because I can f I feel bad for this tornado because they got tackled We're by the elite destroyer. Actually. We're There's two attack. elite ships around, okay. So we have another ship in local. Let's do a scan. And let's check. Oh, wait a second. Is that the Aster? Does look like an Aster based on the signature. Oh, it actually is. Okay. That means I don't have much time. Let's go and warp. They are probably doing a exploration site so I'll just you know, I'll just attempt to catch the Astro Warp drive you never know. could work oh definitely attempt I already I mean I can dock and switch that's not going to work so I have to go with what I have I have three bombs left so that's going to be enough and so oh, Oh, the w oh, 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 I know what's about to happen here. Yep, the Astro seems stuck. The worst case scenario. Uh, this, this, you have to remember, this particular station here has a very weak hitbox. It's been like that for years. Y there's certain areas around where you can get stuck and this Astro definitely got stuck. So, let's just launch the, the drones and let's rush the Astro since they are stuck. Oh look! They are uh, no longer stuck or actually, yeah they're still stuck. They are not warping and the Astro got destroyed. 
No, I have to be careful not to get stuck. This is why I re... There we go. Already bumping into invisible walls. Here, here it is. There's a very big invisible wall right on the corner. And no Sister of Eve debris. Okay, that is a bit unfortunate. Well, let me warp out. There it is. Two kilometers from a invisible structure. This is warp drive much active. really the worst object that you can encounter in a exploration site. Uh, so many ships get heated because of the invisible wall and the hitbox on the on that station is so weird. And it's only for exploration, by the way. You actually have actual stations like that, but they're they're fine. Only this station in the exploration site does that. Eight hundred eighty-five million isk Astero. Well, okay, a nice kill mail. So I'm not going to complain about the loot. And the tornado. Both kind of look like alpha clones to be honest. You can fly the tornado as an alpha clone now, so could be the the case actually. Could be the case. Well then, uh that was actually not Warp drive that, active. Uh, bad. Let me see what's on the scanner since this pilot's been in the system for quite a while, so let me see if there is anything on the scanner. Okay, warping and cloaking. The best idea and best act you can do with any cloaking Warp ship. Drive active. Oh, oh, we have a big signature, and this could be a. I actually thought it was a battleship, but a prophecy command. Now, there are a couple battle cruisers that you should be very careful around. Prophecies, especially the prophecy commands, they're nasty. They're very nasty ships and very tanky ships. So let me see what this prophecy is doing first before I decide to do anything. Uh, if this prophecy does seem to be Warp tanky, drive active. I will probably wait the criminal timer and then I will change ships. Will probably take my own prophecy or I'll take the cells. However, depending on the situation, I might even use the Stratius to destroy this prophecy, but again, not the best, uh, not the best target for a Stratus because the prophecy commands, they are tanky, and I'm not underestimating a prophecy. These things are are very, very scary ships. Okay, they are using infiltrator drones, so I'm on armor, they will do EM damage, I should be good based on the effects, I would say have tracking disruptors, dual tracking disruptors, so potentially one scrambler, one web on point, one Nosferatu and stuff like that, actually no, two of them, since the prophecy command has four medium slots I believe. Hmm. Well, uh, this warp drive active. Actually, I decided to engage the prophecy. I, I could, I could wait, but I think uh, they are aligned. So if I warp with anything else that's not a clock ship, uh, yeah, they will probably just warp out. So, in order to counter that, uh, I'll just risk and I'll just go in with the Stratius. We will know if I'm able to destroy the prophecy in the first 10 seconds. If my bombs don't do much, yeah, warping out it is because you don't really have a lot of uh, a lot of options with the, with the prophecy commands. Uh, never underestimate a prophecy. These ships are very, very scary. I mean, I, I fly them. <laughs> I know what they're capable of especially with the bombs okay there we are nice 13 kilometer warping 
Now, I will do something very funny and something that cloaky tackle ships, tackle pallets, you know, uh, should utilize a lot. If there is one ship left and there is one or two more ways left in the mission, you can actually wait for the for the mission runner to destroy the last ship of the wave and when the next wave spawns that's when you decloak and that's when you tackle because you have a significant element of surprise when the new ships spawn when the pilot clicks on lock all they will not see your ship for the next couple seconds those couple seconds buy you valuable time and that's a trick that I love to utilize when hunting with the Stratus or any other cloaky ship it works really well and that's one of the most dangerous moments uh, if you are running PvE that initial lag when the next wave spawns that's when a Stratus will probably crawl out of the cloak and that's when a Stratus will go after but I was um, a little bit worried about the tank of this ship, so I did engage a little bit earlier uh, because the prophecy was already in very low armor, 50% armor. So I took that as, adv uh, as a advantage, and uh, yeah, uh, wasn't as tanky as I anticipated, which is actually a good thing. But they did have a large armor. Now that makes me very curious to see the build on the prophecy. We will see the build very soon. Let me warp out and then uh, we will take a look at the build of the prophecy. Warp drive active. But yeah, that's just one of, one of the tactics that you can do. Uh, this was a very weird situation and a very unique uh, situation as well. So the prophecy in low armor. One ship left, should I wait and wait for them to repair or surprise them with bombs while they're in low armor? 50% armor, well, yeah, I just decided to go and uh, take advantage of the 50% armor. Because you never know how tanky they can get. Okay, a large armor repairer, a battery, not a bad, not a bad build actually. And they also had the um, armor link module or the... You know, special armor module for the command ships that buffs armor, resistance, and repair. So yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad, it wasn't a bad build, but I would definitely build the prophecy command in a different way. Now the Pacifier. I was talking about this ship, and I personally really, <laughs> really enjoy flying this little thing. I used it with. I think in the last, maybe I, I will include the clip uh, because I honestly forgot. I think I had blasters on the previous one, but uh, we have another target practice ship here, <laughs> and I just love to use this little ship for uh, for troll moments like these because the Pacifier is a surprisingly good combat ship, but my Pacifier, the primary role of this little ship is not combat uh, pretty much uh, what I want to do with it is exploration uh, but occasionally in some instances when the when a target you know when a target is right uh, then I use uh, this little ship and the Pacifier loves to eat industrial ships for whatever reason each time I log in and Warp I do stuff active. with the Concorde Pacifier with this little ship. There is always a coveter just creeping around, and I, I, don't know, I, I just cannot help it but, but take this ship and, and go after the coveter. Now, can you tackle like the Stratius and Astro? Yes, you can. You must not forget that the Concorde ships have the same zero delay as bombers and Sister Eve ships. Now with the 
blasters. I think I had more DPS, but with missiles, with rockets in this case, I actually have much better capacitor performance because the rocket launchers don't take any capacitor, so it works really, really well with this solar ship. And I do have a bonus on the ship for pretty much all weapon systems, with the exception of decomposers and drones. So even missiles work really well. Okay, well, bumping the covert around just in case they have more steps and have points, but honestly, I don't really see that being the being the case. The Coator is a big ship, but the Pacifer isn't small as well. This is also it's very interesting to compare the ship sizes between all of the newer ships that have been added. In any case, there goes the Coveter. And there goes the pod. Let me just pick up the stuff I can loot and then I'll just uh, eat the wreck. Because, you know, you don't want to leave any evidence behind in case a new mining ship comes in. Because you know what happens if a mining ship sees a wreck in a belt. <laughs> They'll never be mining in that system ever again. So, in order to, you know, Warp drive hide active. the evidence, or as I like to say, make the make them feel safe. You know, always destroy the wreck if you are unable to loot the wreck. And let's take a look at kill here actually not a bad collector 412 million I'll take it it's better than nothing that's for sure and this is a cloaky little ship so it works cloaked isn't that just wonderful now uh, honestly I think I just need to compare really quick the the Pacifier's performance with the rockets and with the with the blasters I think blasters will definitely have much higher DPS and in my case using blasters would actually be the smarter option because I, I can take advantage of the thermal circulation implant and you know basically the thermal circulation implant turns your blasters into shotguns for a couple moments and my original Pacifier build uh, did have blasters because honestly I wasn't really sure what to put on this ship but at the same time rockets use less power grid and I'm actually able to do a, a slightly better armor tank build with the, with the rockets primarily because the rockets as I mentioned before take less power and I have more power for the repair better afterburn and stuff like that however I think the DPS built Pacifier will be unmatched if it runs uh, with blasters so if you want DPS I would recommend blasters if you want tank and if DPS isn't really uh, the uh, thing you're ch going after while flying the Pacifier then I would say missiles or cannons because missiles and cannons both don't use power to, uh, don't, don't use um, don't use don't use capacitor. But honestly, uh, after playing around with with both, uh, I I kind of like the missile one more just because of the extra tank and just because it uh, fulfills the role I want it to fulfill a little bit better. So warp drive active. That means the Pacifier will remain with missiles but you know just just to have some some fun I'll, I'll be I, I think I included this clip 
back in the Pacifier video. I honestly, I, I think I did because it was kind of funny because um, the the moment I got the ship, I went here to build it, and the first thing I see, 30 minutes after the patch, after the downtime, I see a mining ship. So it kind of becomes a tradition that I eat a mining ship with a new ship now, especially with the... I mean, also the irony, Concord, a police ship hunting mining ships. You don't have higher irony than that. I mean, a police ship in a pirate's hands. What could possibly go wrong, right? Much, much. Yeah, this is, I mean, this slaps. I must say, this does slap. There is no denying that the thermal circulation implant, the shotgun mode, slaps. There is just no denying, and yeah, the collector got yeeted fairly quickly. Now let me loot what I can loot. Yeah, this is where the. This is when it glitched out and it did not want to let me loot. So let me approach the wreck again and then attempt to loot a second time. And then I will yeet the wreck. Did you see how it worked? The second mining ship earlier actually did attempt to to mine, despite me being here. And... As you manage to hide the, the evidence of a destroyed ship, more will come. Warp drive active. And of course I can cloak, because this is a cloaky ship. Many have said that having a extra low slot would be really good but would that be also a bit overpowered you know it's kind of it, it's kind of a tough question really 351 million slightly lower than the first one but i'm not going to complain it was still pretty funny to uh, eat that ship with the pacifier Okay, let's go to the next target. Well, I haven't used a mallet in a very long time. Two scramblers and a micro drift. What am I about to do with this Undocking. thing? Hmm. Oh, I think it was a bait mining ship. Oh, now I remember. Okay, took me, took me a while to remember, but yeah. Uh, there was a ship, it's a procurer, retriever my apologies, did you see what I'm talking about? So many mining ships all over the place. Warp drive uh, I active. actually initially thought that this ship was a bait, so I didn't really want to use anything else, but I, I think a mallet is quite appropriate for the for a retriever. If it's a bait retriever, I should be good. They did have the drones out, so... And they're Mark 7 Valkyries, so I didn't want to play around with that. Those can still slap. The Retriever can be dangerous if uh, built as a bait ship. Well, I went in. What happens, happens from now on. <laughs> 11 km will be keep at range. I actually wish I, I took a battle logi for this, but you know. I didn't want to risk, I just took the mallet out. Well, it doesn't seem like a bait retriever now. They are boosting shield, but yeah, that's definitely not a bait ship. Would be funny if it was We're a bait ship though, attack. that's that's true. And they did launch the drones, but I don't really see a lot of damage being being done on the on the Mahler, so yeah, I think I should be good. Now I wish I took the Pacifier or the Battle Loggy. Would be much more hilarious to eat the Retriever with those, or actually even better, I should take my own Retriever <laughs> and just eat that at other mining ships. I mean, I actually thought about that, but it did look a little bit sus, so 
yeah I took the the mother for the for this ship and well uh let's uh, delete the you know this is some fantastic alternative mining if I was a mining pilot I would be uh, I'd be pretty happy actually because you, you get some free loot and free minerals uh, so yeah alternative mining actually exists it's a thing and it's pretty funny my my one of my f actually Warp drive believe active. it or not alternative mining might be one of my favorite things to do in this game just because it, it involves blowing up other mining ships <laughs> that's pretty much it but obviously I'm not much of a mining pilot myself but you know it's pretty funny to to think that uh, it actually works the the way that we imagined it would work. In any case, that would be it for today. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, this little funny video. Uh, I had fun with all of these ships. I will definitely be uh, flying them a lot more often. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe, fly safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.